If you know that he's blessing you, come on and put your hands together. And to all of you, we greet you with a great big God bless you. And we want to tell you thank you in advance for calling on such a small man as myself to come over to help you celebrate this men's day. Amen. I don't know about other men, but I am glad I am a man. I got a toot my own horn, I am a real man. Amen. Amen. And if you don't believe me, just ask my wife. There you go. Amen. Because I am married to the choir director. Amen. Amen. Before we move into the word, I just want to tell Pastor Sales again, I already told him in the back, thank you for taking care of my family. Amen. Amen. You know, a lot of preachers would be mad because their family didn't follow them, but I'm not mad. Amen. I'm glad they're in good hands. Amen. Amen. And I'm thankful. But I do want to do this. I want to tell Pastor Sales and to new life that I am, and I don't know if this has been done in the history of the Baptist Church, but I am an honorary member of New Life. Amen. Pastor Sales is my pastor. Amen. Amen. I told him that if I would have gotten to him before I got to my pastor, Amen. I will be here with him. Amen. But because I can't, he has my undevoted faithfulness to him. If you need me, don't hesitate to call me. Amen. 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 Today, tomorrow, will be the third year of the death of my father. And this is always a good time for me because this was the first outing that I had with First Missionary Amen. here with you all. Amen. And I gotta tell you that I love to preach at this church because of the anointing spirit that's in this place. Amen. And I want you to understand something new light and I'm talking to new light. Don't lose what you got. Amen. Hold on to it as long as you can. Because we are living in a world where people go to church now for formality. And it has nothing to do with spirit. Some folks are here to find somebody to date. Some folks are here to sleep with somebody else's husband. Some folks are here to sleep with somebody else's wife. So some folks ain't here for the right reason. But hold on to the spirit that you have. Lord, I appreciate it. Amen. Those of you that have your Bibles, go with us to the book of John, the 11th chapter. Amen. John, the 11th chapter. We're going to begin reading at the 41st to the 44th verse. Amen. John 11, 41 through 44. Amen. I promise y'all I let Minister Matt come over to my church last week and he preached our men's day. Amen. And I had to go back into the church this morning and readjust it because he had left a wreck. But I promise, amen, that I will not do that to new life. I won't be as indignant as he was. Amen. Amen. John 11, 41 through 44. 41 says, Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. 42 said, And I knew that thou heardest me always, but because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. 
Verse 43 says, And when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. All right. The last verse says, And he that was dead came forth bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was bound about with a napkin. Jesus saith unto them, Loose him and let him go. Amen. You may be seated. All right, all right. Amen. If I can just, for just a good hot 10 minutes, just give me good hot 10 minutes. It can't be cold, it's got to be hot. I want to talk to you from this subject. Take off those dead man clothes. Take off those dead man clothes. Amen. My brothers and my sisters, I want you to know that if you have not taken inventory, I know that this afternoon is Men's Day and Women's Day was on this morning, amen, and I hope they were blessed to have a good time, but I want to talk to some men. Is there any real men in the house? Amen. Amen. I want to talk to you because I, I have noticed some things that are going wrong in our city. If you drive up and down the street, if you're walking up and down the street, if you're riding the RTA, however you're getting around, if you take inventory to our streets, there are a lot of young men who are wandering around with no goals and no destination in their eyes. If you were to look at them, you would look and it's almost like you're looking through somebody who does not even have a soul. Amen. The one thing that I am thankful for is I am thankful for the men that God has placed into my life. Those men that are still here and even those that have gone on to be with the Lord. I am thankful for them because it was men like them that kept me out of trouble. They couldn't do the job all the way they wanted to do it. There were some things that I just found my hands doing devil men in and they really couldn't control that. But I'm thankful that while they were around and while they gave me instruction, they allowed me to understand that a real man, number one, is not a man because of the things that he has. A man is not a man because of the amount of women that he has. A man is not a man because of the kind of car that he drives. A man is not a man because of what he has in a bank account. Amen. If you want to be just real about it, a man is a man because of the way he does and the way that he thinks. Amen. Because it really does not matter how much money you have in your bank account. If you're not taking care of your household and your children, you're still not a real man. Amen. It doesn't matter what kind of car you're driving. If you're not willing to pick somebody up on church on Sunday morning, you're really not a real man. It don't matter how many women you got because the reality of it is, I don't know about you, but I can only deal with one woman at a time. Any man that wants one woman more than one woman is really a fool and he is not a man because one is really all you need. I wish I had a witness in the house. Is there anybody here that knows that a real man <laughs> shows that he is a man Preach. by standing up for what he believes in. All right. A real man won't fall for anything, but he'll stand for the right thing. A real man will praise God when his other friends are laughing and making a mockery of him. He won't care what they're saying about him, but he will get his worship on no matter where he is because a real man is thankful. For what God has done yes. for him. But the problem with us today is we got too many men that are bound and they can't move. Can I help you out? Some of y'all got stuff on that's too small. Come on, preacher. You can't worship God because can't breathe. you all bound up and can't be free. Oh, somebody 
stayed right where he was. And he told them, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry mm -hmm. about Lazarus. He is only sleeping. Mm -hmm. and, and, and when I get to him, and I get to him, everything is going to be all right. All right. Brothers, you got to understand the day that you have got to let God in. You have got to let God work the way that he wants to work. And not let him work the way you want him to work. Because your time is not God's time. But God, baby, he will work it out. Just in the nick of time. The only thing is you got to do is you got to stay right there. Stay on your knees and pray to him. And ask him to just give you some relief. When pressure is on the rise. Y'all ever work with a pressure cooker? You can't take the pot off the pressure cooker while pressure is still in the pot. Because if you take it off too early, you're going to have a mess on your hand. So, you've got to stay right where you are. All right. And then if I can just go back to the clothing. <laughs> Some of us got our pants too tight. <laughs> and even if you loosen your belt, it ain't gonna help you. <laughs> Because some of us we have on the day, brother preachers, and some of us got food pants on. <laughs> the kind of pants where you ain't fooling nobody <laughs> but yourself. All right, all right. All right, all right. You got the food pants on so tight that you can't even walk. <laughs> to where God wants you to be. But you always say God don't never show up. You need to put yourself in position for him to find you. Get up with your lazy self and learn how to go to Bible class on Tuesday and Wednesday nights. Get up with your lazy self and learn how to be in Sunday school on Sunday morning. Get up with your lazy self and stop letting your wife go to work and you laying at home in the bed. I wonder what next Xbox game you gonna play. Oh, I wish I had a witness in the house. Do you know somebody that got on food pants? Alright, alright. Say that. And then what's really sad about it, I'm getting ready to get out of here. Is that you get mad when folks laugh at you with your tight clothes on. <laughs> when I know a tailor. All right. <laughs> All right now, preacher. Come on. I'm ready for it. And somebody may say to yourself, Reverend Howe, do you know the tailor? When I was about 13 years old, I went into, didn't have KG's then. But I went into a heavenly place where I met a man named Jesus. And I understand, brothers, that some of you still are wearing tight clothes. But when I, when I walked in to heaven's wardrobe closet, Jesus said, Somebody say, Jesus, you met me at the opening of the wardrobe. And he looked at me with his tail red measure all on his neck. And he said, son, what can I do for you? And I said, Jesus, I'm tired of wearing this clothes 
say don't fit. Yeah. I wanna get some clothes. But they made by man's hands. Because man's clothes, if I eat too much, they'll get tied around the midsection. They won't fit me too good. If I get a little bit bigger in the shoulders, the clothes, my coat won't be able to fashion. But the road, the road, the road that you give me will never shrink or get too small. And he took out the tape measure and he began to get the lips of my arms. up my neck and he gave me the right to coat to wear and I get her in the chair there's an inner man in the house that know that if you go to Jesus he'll fix you up he'll straighten you up he'll clean you up he'll make you brand new get her in the chair in the house Oh, you do.